welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel welcome once again here is the headline for today critical they have finally entered the knee for professor banji akintoye and chief sunday Ibo. so as the day of the mega valley is drawing near and nearer although the day has not really been set there has been lots of rumors coming in and out and people are kind of scared that what is going to happen on that mega rally day that has been declared that that will be the day that the neighbors will leave Nigeria. A few days ago, I, I did some, um, I gave some information out that a man came and did a voice note that he's working in Tango to refinery and he revealed some secrets. I don't know how many of you that have not watched that video. Please go and watch it and come and give your reaction to it. I'll be waiting for your reply on that. So let's continue. So the man gave some really very big top secrets from that place. And I'll let me just repeat. He said they are shipping in arms like guns and bombs to the to the sea close to that Tangote refinery and you're transport, transporting it to a place where Flanit always can easily assess it and they're waiting for the day that a wish will be blown then they'll start fighting the people became, became very scared people became scared and people were like hey how, how are we going to do it so we started calling professor banji and kito and telling him that ah she will shift the data be you know i be we'll just do shake back on back on people are kind of scared you know that kind of anxiety you now people have been calling people have been making different calls and people are saying that ah jason they go please don't come to nigeria now even if you will come please don't come now ah don't come now please the land is hot like everywhere on bononi everywhere is hot please don't come we have been hearing stories and people have been some prophets and prophets have been you know saying how god reveal things to them people are really scared right now and then in the midst of all these chaos in the midst of all this confusion Prof. Banja Kintwe came out to the end, said something that people have been calling him or wanting to have been calling in all those elders in Nigeria because Prof. Banja Kintwe is not in Nigeria currently. I think he's kind of with um, Chief Sunday going to Kotono or he will be in America. So he said people have been calling him or hmm, they have been calling him and he said they should calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, that everything is under control. And then they were like, no, we cannot calm down. No, you are not that kind of thing. Everybody is scared now. Tell me that we are in Nigeria. We are scared. I beg. We are scared. So Professor Banjakite said, okay, let those people, like those committees, like the likes of Amaun Etiwi, Professor Banjakite, Professor Wale Diniwa, and, and the rest, those prominent Yoruba, they didn't go for prayer. And they went to pray for some days. Like they prayed to God, cry to God. They cried and cried to God, and God answered their prayer. And God revealed something to Professor Banji. I came to him and told him that all the Yorubas, they must thank God for seven days. Seven days mean one week. They must thank God, like give thanks to God. Open their mouth and begin to thank God. And people will be like, people will be like, huh? how are you going to thank God? Eh? In this battle, in this shaking, in this... Yes. I really love this this thing that um, Professor Banja came to you said. Something I learned some time ago, if as a Christian, if um, you have been praying, 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 and it seems like there is no answer, just push him to worship and praise in God. Thank him. <laughs> you see all those things will begin to come to pass. Even you will not understand how he's going. So God has referred to Professor Banja came to you that they should go into a Thanksgiving week. And you should thank God. And that will be happening this October. That is tomorrow. We're entering October. You should begin to thank God. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him for everything He said to do. Thank Him for how He's going to take control. Thank Him for the good health of everybody that will be for the Baker Valley. Thank Him for the good health of all you pass. Both abroad and in Nigeria, let's begin to thank Him for one week. All you pass must do it. So if you're listening to me now, you're Yoruba. Remember, October there will be a one week of Thanksgiving, of thanking God as if God has already won the battle because He has He started winning, it, He has started fighting on behalf of the Yorubas. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Why don't you go into your own room and begin to thank God wherever you are? If you're in the marketplace, if you're in your house, in your closet, wherever you are, thank God. Even if you go to church, thank Him. So that's the secret right now. Thank him for everything he's going to do, for everything he has done in the past. He has been protecting you, but for everything he's going to do, 
now for what he's going to do later in the future. And I pray that God will hear the prayers of the universe in Jesus' name. Amen. So God has said that we should not be afraid. You know, it's kind of scary now. When we are here, that they are bringing guns, bombs, and those, um, those ammunition that we say we have not seen before. Who will not be scared? But it only takes the, 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 the board, a bold person, a fearless person, not to fear, but to stand still. So it's, it's not easy, my brother and my sister. It is not easy. It is not easy at all. And for those, I just, let's put those, you banish and you take those prominent ones into the hands of God. That God is strengthening them. It is not easy. <laughs> it is not easy at all. God should strengthen them for this Megawali coming up. I know it's not going to be easy. But God will just take control. Let's pray for them. God will strengthen them. Whatever that will be needed for that Megawali, that God will provide. God will provide in Jesus' name. Let us pray that they will not be discouraged. Nothing will discourage them. That God will give them that boldness in their heart. That they will not be discouraged at all, at all, at all, at all. So the Thanksgiving is not just for uh, the battle that God is going to win for the Ubers, but the battle is for that even during or after the rally, nobody will die. Nobody will be injured. Everybody, nothing will touch anybody. Everybody will be safe and sound. So that's the Thanksgiving. So me, I don't know when you're going to start your own. Start being, being thanking God. Thank Him, thank Him, thank Him. Thank Him for everything He's going to do. Thank Him, thank Him, thank Him. Thank him, continue thanking him. Do not forget to like this video channel and come on, let me let's look at one comment from someone. Sorry, I'm coming. Okay, so this person is saying that Chief Sunday will please don't come to Nigeria now. Hmm. I understand how you feel, sir. I understand how you feel. It's not easy. You know, he's, he's just concerned about Chief Sunday go. But we've prayed and everything is good is gonna take perfect control of everything. So you also stay in your own house and pray. Pray, 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 pray ahead of the mega rally. So what do you think on this? What do you feel about this? About the fact that there is anxiety in the land. There is fear in the land. But God has spoken. And we should all begin to thank Him. That is just... You know, I don't know. Please, sorry that I'm referring to the Bible. What happened some times ago, there was, this, there was this country on the Bible that some people came to fight against. There were many, many armies against this small nation. A small nation, the way your nation is small. Then they cried to God and God said they should go and begin to sing. <laughs> and when they were singing, God was killing all their enemies for them. So, Yoruba people, don't be scared. Open your mouth and thank God. Open your mouth and dance as if God has given you victory already. Even as you do so, pray that God will bless you. Thank you so much for trusting us to bring you latest updates on Yoruba Nation. God bless.